Hey, what's up, everybody? It's DJ Fanatic Beats, content contributor for LiveOffBeats.com. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter at DJ Fanatic or Instagram at DJ Fanatic Beats. Uh, basically, today's video is just a quick video to help your workflow and also to help you uh, basically move faster with your plugins in the mixer window. Uh, there's a little trick that you can do in FL Studio, uh, which I love. Uh, you know when you have, this is a project that I was working on, uh, you know that you, you know, in FL Studio, with a lot of the tracks that you use, you have um, several plugins that you have, uh, some more than others. I mean, several plugins on each track, especially, you know, depending on the sounds that you use. Uh, what's really cool about this um, shortcut, it'll save you time, a lot of time, uh, because... And also, um, it can give you some type of structure just for each sound. Let's say, for instance, uh, I have the strings here, right? And I have trem strings. These trem strings, I probably already did it, but uh, trem uh, is short for tremolo, like really fast moving uh, strings, if you didn't know that. But, um, but yeah, uh, basically, uh, what I'm going to show you here on your right, as you can see, is where all your, your plugins go for each track. And what you can do, uh, let's say this reverb that I'm using for the strings here on, on tra uh, channel 9, track 9. Um, I did all these settings, you know, and the parameters or whatever in this plugin. And let's say I wanted reverb on um, the trem strings as well. Instead of putting another instance of reverb like that and then fine-tuning you know what you want for that specific um, instrument you can um, let me undo that replace none delete uh, basically you can go to strings you drop down and if you notice it says save preset as now what you do is left click and you drag it to wherever you want for instance we're gonna put it on the trim strings and what it does is saves all the parameters in Reverb, uh, Fruity Reverb 2. And this is not alone um, is just for that plugin. It can be for any plugin, which is crazy. Uh, it saves you a lot of time um, when you know you're see uh, Isotope Ozone 7 Imager. I can save that. Just put that on whatever. I don't know why. I would well, you can put it anywhere. Let's put on the symbol crash. And all the settings that I did in this imager is applied, it's duplicated, it's cloned into another sound. So it definitely saves you time and it also gives you structure, you know, like in your beat. Because a lot of times you don't want a different reverb on different types of sounds. It gives you some type of um, having the same reverb kind of gives you some some structure some character to um your music because if you think about like really old school music like motown uh, if you notice it's almost pretty much the same reverb that's on the drums or that's on like the vocals and it gives it that that uniqueness because it's like the same room if you think about reverb it's just space so like if i save as what i'm doing is copying that same space the same settings and putting it on a different sound so that's just a little advance uh, just giving you like a mindset of you know reverb in particular and using this type of shortcut so it definitely saves you time and that way your reverbs aren't all over the place you have like one really long reverb here one short one here I mean you can do that in certain certain circumstances uh, not saying that you can't um, just giving you an idea of bringing some more um, you know structure to your music and just make it sound more cohesive uh, so yeah there's a quick shortcut for you I told you it'd be a really quick video and it definitely saves you time um, I love that shortcut it's just that little thing you can do and just drag any of these and you can also you know put it on the master track as well or whatever so it's really quick you can take this reverb and put it on a send track so it's very flexible and really easy 
for you to get some some great results and also just do some really complex stuff um, if you like but also you know keep it structured so there you have it you know uh, it's pretty straightforward on you know hopefully I didn't confuse anybody but yeah, if you never knew about that feature is definitely you know a time saver and not only time it just you know like I said makes your beat sound better overall when you have some type of um, you know structure to it so again it's DJ Fanatic Beats if you like to follow me on Twitter at DJ Fanatic or uh, DJ Fanatic Beats on Instagram Fanatic is P-H-A-N-A-T-I-C so again appreciate y'all I'm a content contributor for liveoffbeats.com and keep making great music and uh, keep doing your thing alright y'all Peace.